شكرا اي خدمه فين قابلك النجور بقى وانت طيب مولود سعيد يا فندم الله يخليك five days ago the twins Shayma a girl and Muhammad a boy were born to Karima and Fatsi I am told that from the moment of birth, seven angels protect newborns until the seventh day. This is the eve of the subur. A big candle in the decorated subur pot is lit while the babies remain covered from the eyes of strangers. It is believed that the angels register a newborn's lifespan before the candles are put out by midnight. Coins are dropped into a dish of beans soaking in water to bring about abundance and prosperity. Women dress up both ceremonial pots with gold jewelry, and the father dresses up the boy's pot with his rosary beads. Undecorated and undressed, the Sugur pots are made out of clay in the pottery village in Fustar, historical old Cairo. On one side, there is the old mosque of Amr ibn al-Aas. On the other side, there is the famous church of Mary Girgis. Sugur pots are used by Muslims and Copts, rich and poor, urban and rural. For 150 years, Potters, like Had Saleh, have been making pots in this area, passing the craft to their sons. The Subur pot consists of a base and a long neck. Four candle holders are attached around the top ridge of the base. This pot is adorned with a wavy rim encircling its upper neck. It is a girl's pot called Olla. The Subur pot only resembles the traditional clay water jar, but it isn't used for drinking. It is a ceremonial object of symbolic value. From birth, a newborn is gender neutral. The subur on the seventh day marks the point at which gender is differentiated and the newborn's sexual identity is publicly announced and celebrated. The clay pot represents gender difference. The boy's spot is called a brie. It has a spout attached to one side and a handle to the other. These spots are then painted and decorated. In the not too distant past, decorating the subur pot, like the rest of subur preparations, was done collectively by the family gathered together before the subur. Nowadays, the subur pots are commercially decorated with satin bows and flowers and even flashing lights. Still, in Egypt today, the subur continues to be a family affair, an occasion to express skin solidarity and reaffirm family ties, particularly those through the mother. Karima's mother passed away. But Ummi Iman, the mother-in-law of Karima's brother, stayed with Karima in the hospital and is taking care of her at home. She has a key position in the family. Extended family members are packing candy and peanuts in special sacks for the next day. Peanuts are now a substitute for the more typical roasted chickpeas. As relatives work together, they are all served mugat. It is a medicinal drink that is primarily for the new mother, but is ritually offered to all in attendance on the occasion of birth. <laughs> 